back again with my realistic nighttime routine. So who's ready to go to bed with me? Let's get into my nighttime skincare routine. It's so wild because I never thought I'd be that girl to say that sentence, but here I am. So to be completely honest with you, which I always am, I'm the most inconsistent person in the world when it comes to like routine and doing things consistently. So I have like a full nighttime skincare routine, which I'm gonna show you, but it doesn't mean that I do it every single night. And one of my New Year's resolutions is that I'm going to start doing it every night. Right now I have makeup on from the day, not a lot, but just some left shoulder, and we're gonna need to get that off. Oh my God, I am obsessed with this. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and it smells like freaking heaven. <sighs> obsessed. Wow, 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 wow. I never even knew what a cleansing balm was like six months ago. And then I feel like it started being like trendy to start using a balm before your cleanser because this takes off your makeup. And sometimes I will use like normal makeup remover. This is micellar cleanser water because apparently it's better for your skin than makeup remover wipes. So sometimes I'll use this even before the balm. And because I only wear waterproof mascara, like I just have to or it'll like tear down my face. This is like the only thing that gets the waterproof mascara off, which is oil-free Neutrogena eye makeup remover. Anyways, back to my cleansing balm. Oh my God, I have to put my hair up. See, I'm a mess. All right, let's put this baby up all high and mighty. Cute. I love, it. you're gonna put it on your eyes. Everything. If you want to get all the dirt off, like everything, then you follow up with a cleanser. Okay, so I've been doing this in the shower once a day. Oh my God, I love this stuff. It's the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser from Youth to the People. It smells like earth and flowers and vegetables, but like fruity. Just everything amazing. <laughs> I I don't have like dry skin or oily skin. I feel like I'm right in the middle. I heard that this is more for oily skin, but honestly, it's fine as long as I would say you use it once a day unless you have extremely oily skin, which I don't. So once a day is good for me. And when I do do it in the shower, I use this tool. This Vanity Planet cleanser, like hand cleanser thing. Cleansers on the face. How unreal and it really gets into those little spots that I feel like you just can't get with your fingers. Oh my god, it feels so good. Okay, so now we're gonna have some fun. I have a few facials that I love, but this is one of them because I just love the color. This is Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask from Youth to the People as well. And the reason I've been even more into doing facials lately is literally because of this brush. It's so soft and fun. I feel like I'm painting, like doing an art project on my face. <gasps> oh my God. This is so fun. Now again, when it comes to my skin products, like this is a new world for me. So I feel like I hear from so many people, this product's amazing, this product's amazing. And I kind of just try everything. So like I'll get hooked on something for a little, then I try something else, might go back to the old one. You never know. But I feel like at this point, I definitely have like most of my brands down that I like. Love. Wow. Just wow. Now I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and I'm gonna be right back. And we're back. Feels nice and tight, but not too tight. Now we're gonna wash it off. Ah. <sighs> If I didn't do the facial, then I would use the Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. I am not a skin guru. I don't even know what exactly is in here, but I do know that when my skin was horrible during like the middle of the pandemic, my, my forehead was breaking out and it was super annoying. Someone told me to look into Drunk Elephant. I started using this night serum and I swear it changed my skin. So I just keep going with it. But this stuff is pretty strong, especially if it's your first time using it, it will like burn a little bit. For me, it doesn't anymore because I'm used to it. But again, I don't like using too many other products when I use this. So I like a lot of moisturizers, but the past few months I've been very into the Cora Turmeric Glow Moisturizer, especially for the nighttime because it's super thick and creamy. And I love that. First of all, look at that. Like, look at that. You don't understand how good this feels. That's a lot. Like, I just put a lot on. So let's take a little of that off. And it's just like amazing, amazing. I love it. I just love it. 
Is that it? I will obviously need to brush my teeth. I can never go back and use a non-electric toothbrush. Like this is all I could do at this point in my, like this is it. This is what you gotta do. Oh, oh, Remy. Well, that was fun. I wish I could take you guys on the rest of my journey, but I wanna have a nice and peaceful ending to my night. I'm gonna pour myself some Valerian root tea. I've been having trouble sleeping, so everyone's been telling me to use that. I'm like, I think it's helping. But clearly my mind's always going. I'm a very energetic girly, and it's time to wind down. I'm Remy Bader, and thank you for joining me for my nighttime routine.